here. Thank God for everything that God does. But I was sitting here thinking about the love of God and the things that God has done. And I'd like to thank God for salvation first and foremost. It's the love of God that made my family a family. I thought at one time in my life I loved my wife and I loved my kids, but I didn't know what love was until Jesus moved into my heart. Amen. Amen. And I truly saw things in a different way. Amen. And I thank God for my wife this morning. I thank God for her every day. I told her this the other day. We've been married 31 years. And I love her more today than I did when I married her. I'm proud of her and I thank God for her. And I thank God every evening, praise God, when things in this world slow down. And I can just sit down beside of my wife. Amen. I thank God for her. I thank God for my girls. 
Most of all, I thank God for the change that God's made in me. You pray this morning, I thought about the long suffering of the Lord. I've tasted the long suffering of God. I thought about it, and you can go ahead and turn to the 10th chapter of the book of John, come to my mind as we were sitting here. I'm just going to take my time this morning and talk a little bit. Do the best I can do for the Lord this morning. Amen. I'm glad for the drawing power of God. I thought about a lot of things and the Bible said that God's not slack concerning His promises as some men count slackness. He said, but His long suffering to us were not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance. I'm glad for the long suffering of the Lord. If it hadn't been for the long suffering of God, He'd have quit doing me a long time ago. If He'd have been like mortal man he is, say, man, praise God, God will get man will give up on you pretty quick. Praise God. Hey, man, come on. Man will throw you away pretty quick. But I'm glad that the long suffering of the Lord is salvation. Amen. That's the Word of God. Hallelujah. I'm glad that when I was unlovable, there was a man called Jesus. Loved me enough to hang on an old rugged cross and die for me when I was ungodly. Amen. Hey, man, listen to me today. He didn't die for the righteous. Amen. Praise God according to the Word of God, your righteousness. He had filthy rights before God. But Praise God, He died for the ungodly. The Bible said He commended His love toward us and He died for the ungodly. While we were yet sinners, God died for us. Amen. Yeah. Hey, Jesus Christ hung on the cross of Calvary and suffered everything for me and you that we could have right to the tree of life. And sometimes we don't even know how to appreciate it. Amen. Come on, brother. Long suffering us was not willing that any should perish but that all would come to repentance. I've heard people ask God to, amen, they've asked me to pray that God wouldn't let their people die and go to hell. Do you know God made a way for your people to go to heaven, amen? And whether they'll accept it or not, that's up to them. Oh, come on. You know the reason people's not going to heaven? They don't want to go to heaven. They never see a desire to go to heaven yet. They never see a need in their life for a Savior yet. Amen? That's the reason they're not ready to go. Hey, come on. You know why people's not living right? Because they don't want to live right. You choose your life, amen. And every day of your life, amen, the choices you make, praise God, there's consequences in it. Hey, come on. I made a choice for Jesus. Jesus one night, hey, amen, on the new home Baptist yeah. church, amen, hey, and I dedicated everything I had to the Lord Jesus Christ, hey, amen, hey, amen, praise God, I have no life outside of Jesus, hey, amen, as you're born again, the child of God, you have no life outside of Jesus, come on, man, praise you, bro. You're not right with God this morning. You choose not to be where I be, God. I'm gonna preach a little bit. Help me, Lord. I'm not a pacifier. I never have been. There's a church asked me, praise God, and just kept asking me one time, hey man said, we want you to be our pastor. I said, no, you don't. Come on, brother. They said, yeah, we want you to be our pastor. I said, no, you don't. I said, what you want is somebody to babysit you. I said, you don't want a pastor. A pastor is the leader of the sheep, amen. amen. Yeah. Yeah. He don't run a daycare. Can I get an amen? amen? I said, what you want is somebody, praise God, that'll babysit you and I'm not that man. You better find you somebody else. Come on, praise God. I'm just being honest this morning. Hey, listen. People's not right with God because they don't want to be right with God. Hey, He said, whosoever will, come and drink of the water of life freely. Come on, praise God. Your life tells on you. It does. Huh? Amen. You want to go to heaven, you'll live like you want to go to heaven. Amen. Oh no, come on, man. I'm all right, brother. I'm just going to take my time. Huh? Everybody wants me. 
Hear preachers all over the country, praise God, wanting meeting, and they yeah. never show up. That's right, brother. Amen. 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 Right. Amen. 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 Yeah. They missed it, amen. amen. Yeah. But I've got a message on my heart this morning. Now you listen to me. I don't care what other people do. I don't care what you've done. I don't care where you've been this morning. I know a man called Jesus that can forgive you. Amen. amen. I thought about this a lot. Now, I'm just a crazy fellow everywhere I go. And you can ask these boys that's ever worked with me. I'm the same on the job side as I am in this church. I don't know the show. That's exactly right. But I was working with a young man one time, praise God. This is how everybody feels, amen. I'm just going to preach to you this morning, and you can take it or you can leave it. That's up to you. But I worked with this young man, praise God, and I seen him go crazy, and I seen him throw, amen, things that you've never seen people throw before. We was coming down 16 one evening, and I was driving the van, and praise God, he went off a deep end. He threw him out a new bottle, tried to bust the windshield out of the van, and I was going down the road. Kicked the radio up out of the day. She cut off with shine several million. I just kept her driving. Amen. When he got finished with his feet, amen, and Mountain Dew all over me and all over the van, praise God, I looked at him. I said, Are you done? Amen. He cussed me out one morning. He told me, he said, Now you go tell your God what I said. I said, I don't have to. He heard every word that you said. You see what's what the word of God said. He said, You'll give an account for every idle word that you said about him. Amen. I said, My God already heard you. He got real quiet, amen, and all I was trying to do is win him to the Lord, and I asked him several times to come to church with me, amen, just to hear the Word of God preached. I didn't want to come to the spot. I just wanted him to see how good God was. Amen. Come on, praise God. But I invite you to come to the house of God. It ain't to put you on a spot, amen. It's to let you see and taste the goodness of an Almighty God. Amen. Why did you buy taste something that you want from heaven? Hey, be a part of this thing. Woo! Glory to God. Amen. I'm about to fly, so you better pray just a minute. Amen. I tried to explain to him many times how God loved him. Amen. One day he went off the deep end and jumped all over me. I don't know about you, but I don't do good with people jumping on me. I have to do a whole lot of praying. Hey Amen. Come on. You can lie in church if you want to, but I ain't gonna lie because I'm no. right now I still got a temper. And everybody in this church amen, says it don't make you mad, you're lying. Amen. I'm just gonna tell you straight out how it is. Hey man, now listen, you ain't no different than I am. You're born to the same place, still dealing with the same things, hey amen. And if everybody right here's what'll open heaven, it's when you be honest before God. Now listen. But this old boy jumped on me, hey amen, for no reason, Jeff. <laughs> and he jumped in my face and he told me, he said, don't you ever talk to me about the Lord again. He said, I will not serve a God that would send a man to hell. And I almost busted. Yeah. Yeah. I even went in a different room and I began to pray and I asked God, I said, God, you've got to help me. Because yeah. I said, Lord, if you don't give me something to say, I'm going to hurt this boy's feelings so bad I'll never be able to reach you. I said, Lord, you don't get mad and I need to pray. I need you to help me. Yeah. Brother, I prayed through and I just went back into the living room and I looked him right in the eye. And I said, I want to explain something to you. I said, God has never sent anybody to hell. You read the Word of God. God has never sent anybody to hell. If you go to hell, it'll be your own fault. Can I get on that? Man? I'm going to tell you this morning just what I told him. I said to God, the Father that I serve, hey, Amen. said, hey, he searched heaven and earth and found none worthy. Hey, Amen. But there was a lamb called Jesus.
You know what sends you to hell according to the word of God's unbelief. Amen. 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 According to the word of God, the Bible said in the third chapter of the book of John, the 16th verse, he said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever would believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. You see, the way has been made. And if you miss that way, praise God, it's your fault. It's not God. Can I get an amen? People are rebellious, praise God, and they don't want it. And that's all right. That's up to you. But I've got news for you this morning. When the trumpet sounds, this little fat preachers are going home to be with Jesus. Amen. With or without you, praise God, I'm going home. Amen. I've got my mind made up. My feet's on the rock. I've established my goings and I'm going home, Jeff. And I'm going to take you with me if you'll listen, praise God. Now listen to me. The Bible said He came to seek and to save that which was lost. Amen. 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 We're saying all that, Buck. I've got something I want to read in the 10th chapter of the book of John. You know that boy, he, he told me, he said, praise God, he said, I've never heard it like that. Had been taken to a church in Ash County, amen, for 24 years. He was 24 years old at the time. And he had never heard that Jesus Christ died for him. 24 years is a sad time in that oh, Say, church, if you've lost your mind, then you just leave me alone, praise God. Because I know what I'm talking about. Amen. It's a sad thing when you've been taken to church. Amen. You see, I didn't know a thing about it. I've never been taken to church. Didn't know how to pray. Hadn't been taught to pray. They some of these kids, praise God's privilege that their mom and dad, amen, brought them to church and teaching them how to pray. But praise God, I'm going to tell you right now, God, amen, won't blow you out just because you ain't never been to church. Can I get an amen? amen. Yeah. You see, God's got a place, amen, where them it ain't never been, amen. amen. Hey, He's got a spot for what it all. Oh. Woo! Yeah. Amen. Thank God for that, the long suffering of the Lord. Amen, brother. His salvation. That's Amen. I thought how many times up and down this little creek, praise God, that I should have wrecked and killed myself. <coughs> Amen. How many times I should have ended up in hell. Amen. You know my life. I wasn't a good fellow. Amen. Praise be to God. There wasn't none of us good. Still no good. Nothing good about me except Christ Jesus in my heart. Right. Amen. Amen. Listen to me. I'm just going to slow down and preach a little bit. Tenth chapter of the book of John come to my mind as we're sitting here and he's a singing. Amen. Praise be unto God. And you pray real hard. I've done my best to preach for almost 20 years. Amen. I've done my best to tell people how good this thing is and show them Travis, just how real Jesus is. Amen. And I've tried to live it. I tried to live it every day of my life and I tried to be a witness for the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And I see people just throwing it away every day and it just breaks my heart. Amen. Amen. I take it serious, sister. I take my walk with Jesus serious and it's real. Huh? Now listen to me this morning. This may be my last message in this world. If it is, praise God, brother. I'd like for somebody to listen to what I've got to say this yeah. morning. If you've never listened to anybody else this morning, I pray to God that you'll hear what this little preacher's got to say. You see, my time's almost over. Yours is too, if you'll just realize what's going on. That's right. I've never seen God draw people like He's drawn them in this day and time, brother. Yeah. And leading us to where people are at. But today, praise God, amen, it may be Mother's Day in this world, but praise God, I'm telling you what's the truth. Ain't been some shouting going on in glory this week, amen. Amen. You want it or not, amen. amen. You don't want it, just get out of the way. Let somebody in it does. Come on, praise God. Now I'm gonna preach a little bit. <coughs> Tenth chapter of book of John. First verse says this. He said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice. And he calleth his own sheep by name, and lead them out. 
And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, that, for they know not the voice of a stranger. This parable spake Jesus unto them, but they understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. And then said Jesus unto them, now listen, again, verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. And the Bible said, The thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. Amen. I'm going to stop right there just a minute. I don't understand why people would hang around with something. Praise God, it's tearing their life down. Yeah, come on. I don't understand why people would let something into their life that would take their children's life and ruin it. Yeah, come on. I've talked to a lot of people, amen. Amen, and I've tried my best, praise God. People want me to go talk to people because I've been an alcoholic and I know what God can do. Yeah. Amen, but I've tried my best to talk to people, to get them off the drugs and to get them off the things of this world yeah. and the addictions of life and try to help them get hooked on Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Hey man, there was one oh. time a young man come to my house. He'd been on meth, hey man, for months, hey man. And he used to come to my house and he'd crash in my barn. My wife would fix him supper, amen, and dinner and take it with to feed him. And him and he'd stay in my barn when he cries. He wouldn't come in my house, but he'd bring a camper and stay in my barn. Amen. Praise God. And I'd feed him, Jeff. I'd take care of him and do my best, praise God, to make a difference in this man's life. Amen. One evening, praise God, he got on it so bad. Amen. That he went in with the woman. Amen. That he's a living with at the time. And come one ace of killer. He beat her till he put her in the hospital. And he come to my house. And he sat down in my living room and he cried. And I asked him this simple question. I said, if a man come into your house, and he beat your woman till he put her in the hospital. He took all your guns and all your rights. Took all your money. And left you with not even a shirt on your back like you've got. I said, what would you do to him? He said, I'd kill him. I said, but yet you let this demon and this drug and this alcohol. Yeah, come on, brother. everything you've got this precious yeah. you, praise God. Amen. Amen. And you'll keep letting it into your house. Yeah, come on. Amen. And he started to cry, brother. Yeah, come on. Huh? Right, amen. That's right. And he told me right in my living room, he said, I'd give anything in my life if I could have my life back. I said, I can't promise you the life you had back. Yeah. But I can promise you a new life. Amen. 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 Through the Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. I can promise you a new life. Amen. 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 Me and him got down in my living room, Sister Sherry. And he gave it all to Jesus. Go see him now. He ain't a rack of bones. Hmm? Around 300 pounds. Got two of the prettiest little boys I've ever looked at in my life. Got a wife. Got a family. Huh? Yeah. Coaching T ball. Oh my God. Huh? Yeah. Bless you. See, that's what God can do. Amen. Amen. The hireling cometh but for the steal, to kill, and to destroy. The devil and his angels ain't out for nothing but to take everything you love and throw it away. This may not be no shouting message this morning, but praise God, I'm here to tell you that's all I've got. Somebody needs it or it wouldn't be on my mind. Amen. 
Amen. You see, I've been there when I thought of myself before I thought of my kids. Yeah. I've been there when my wife had to pay all the bills. Yeah. Amen. Because I drunk every dime I had it. I've been there when the people of the churches that knew her would pray for her. Amen. Praise God. Help me. Lay my best in I just thank God this morning that my kids were not open enough to remember. They never know that. I've got to preach. Jesus said this. He said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. But he that is a hireling and not the shepherd who is on the sheep or not, seeth the wolf coming and leaveth the sheep and fleeth. And the wolf catcheth them and scattereth the sheep. The hireling fleeth because he is in the hireling and causeth not, careth not for the sheep. Now listen. The devil used to tell me a whole lot of things, Harvey. You know my life. <coughs> You was there when I rode that horse around that porch for you You know who I was. I got your boys in a whole lot of trouble and that I'm sorry for and I regret it every day. I got in a lot of trouble and every time I woke up and sobered up. The devil never was there. That's right. I was all by myself. The Word of God said, Amen. Now listen. He said, I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and am known of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have which are not of this fold. He said, Them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Amen. Amen. Ain't you glad that the good shepherd still walking the corridors of life on the mountains and the valleys? And he's still calling them in for the fold. Amen. He's still laying his life down. Hey, praise God. Hey, let me tell you something. I met a friend one Friday night that when troubles come, hey, man, my shepherd steps in front of me. He my safety and he my shield. Hey, glory to God. Yeah, come on, brother. Hit him up, boy. When the enemy comes, Praise God, He don't run and leave me, brother. He fights a battle for me. And one place in the way of God, He said, the line of the tribe of Judah yeah. shall come down and fight for His people. Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. Yeah. Amen. Amen, brother. And he said, I have sheep that's not among His fold. He said, I must bring them. Amen. He's still calling people's names. Amen. Yes, he is. If he's called your name this morning, praise God, it's because he loves you. That's right. Amen. I tell people all the time, why would you want to stay, praise God, somewhere, praise God, where your whole world's miserable? Yeah, that's right. I've asked these boys many a time, praise God, before they ever give their life to Jesus, I said, ain't you tired of it? Yeah. Ain't you tired of waking up, praise God, miserable? Ain't you tired, praise God, of waking up feeling bad? Ain't you tired of the shame and the agony? Huh? I got tired of throwing up blood. Yeah, come on, brother. I got tired of waking up on the floor. Exactly right. 
I got tired of making my wife drag me in the house on the <coughs> quill. Been a many a time, Greg, she drug me through the front yard and laid me on the porch. Because she couldn't get me in the house. Not one time, not one time did she ever give up on me. Yeah. I owe her a lot. I thank God for you, Mom. You've endured a whole lot. Yeah, they have. I don't know if I can even go on. You see, I love you this morning. Good shepherd to call on your name. You see, he made a way for you. It's already been prepared. If you just listen. I'm glad he didn't throw me away. I think about it, Buck, all the time. What would I have missed? What would I have missed? I would have missed my girls growing up. I would have missed when they first started walking. Sometimes I can look at them and still see them like this little girl right here. I can remember the time that Kayla ever took her first step. We didn't think she'd ever walk. She got in the habit of rolling everywhere she went. She didn't even crawl. <laughs> she'd lay down and run her on the floor and we'd try to get her to walk. She'd just fall down and roll over to where she was going and get up. <laughs> They'll never know what to be. They're my life. God, give me a crazy day. And I've been hard on them. And it's not so bad. One evening she crawled over, rolled over to the table. Stood up. She just took off the back. And I kept waiting for her to fall so I could run and get her. Come right back to me. And I lost her ground. And I tried to leave. One evening I come drop me one evening, bro, Mike. Every time something happened, they come drop their daddy. I'm proud of them. I feel it this morning. They start here to get people to be in this point. The memories that we've made in this church will last forever. You see, this is part of my family. I've got to be thankful. Amen. I've never been in a church, Sister Pauline, and I've tried my best to fight the churches for several years. But I've never been in a place that really loved me. And I thank God for it. this morning, why would you stay somewhere where you're losing everything? Yeah. Won't you come to Jesus? Yeah. Amen, brother. You Amen. see, in my life, I got tired of watching my family with the pain in their eyes. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 
I got tired of watching my wife's face and her worrying about what I was going to do next. You see, I wasn't a good drunk. I wasn't good sober. And the alcohol just made me mean. <coughs> this morning, don't let the devil steal everything you've got. Yeah, that's right. My mother-in-law sitting back here on the back bench. I'd like to give her some flowers this morning. I've heard a lot of people down their mother-in-laws and I've heard them talk about their in-laws like a dog. But I can't say one arm word about my mother-in-law because she's loved me like my mom would. And I love you, Robert. If you've got a family, you ought to tell them you love them. That's right, brother. That's right. Amen. He said, I've got sheep that's not among his folk. I must bring them. And he said this, and I listened. He said, no man taketh it from me. Let me back up for him. 17th verse, he said, Therefore doth the Father love me, that my Father love me, because I laid down my life, that I might take it again. And no man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. And have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my Father. I love you this morning. If you're here today and you're lost without God, I still love you. But if you're here this morning, praise God, and you'd like to be saved, I can help you with that. Come on, brother. I can take you to the man. I can pray with you. You see, this is what the Word of God says. Sister, I found out in life that there's a lot of people who would like to be saved and they don't know how. There's a lot of people in this world that like to have deliverance and they don't know how. But I know the man that can. And his name's Jesus. And this is what the Word of God said. The Bible said the word of faith that we preach is nigh thee, even in thy mouth. Amen. That if you'll confess the Lord Jesus with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, He said, Thou shalt be saved. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. And He said that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. Amen. And the Bible said them that believe shall stand in the kingdom. Amen. And not be ashamed, amen. Ain't she glad, praise God? Church that God, long suffering, amen, came to you and me, praise God. Amen. Woo! Amen. Yeah, that's right, brother. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. You're here today and you're lost without God. I don't know your heart. I've been in revival for five weeks. All I know to do is preach salvation. I don't know your heart. But I'm here to tell you, praise God, salvation's come to you. It's your turn. Everybody has had an opportunity at this at least one time in life. It's a promise of God. This is your opportunity. I thought about the window of opportunity, Sister Sandy. How many times people have passed it by God opened them a window for salvation and deliverance. Amen. Today, amen, praise be unto God. Let me tell you something. There's a little gray-haired granny over around her next to White Top, Virginia who called me just every other night. And she'd say, Preacher, have you seen my boy? I'd say, no, ma'am, I ain't seen him. She said, when you talk to him, said, would you tell him that he, I love him? And I'm worried about him to call me. I said, just as soon as I talk to him, I'll tell him. He's the one that got right in my living room. You see, somebody's prayed for you. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Buck, would you get your song, please? 515. 
this morning. You don't have to face this world by yourself. You don't have to face alone this morning. I know a man, brother. He'll do what he what I tell you he'll do, he's done. It's gonna happen, brother. Would there be one here this morning who want to come talk to Jesus? Amen. Amen, James. I've lost a lot in my life. It's three years that I don't remember if I three years the devil stole out of my life. And I can't remember nothing. How about it this morning while they say? So preacher, I didn't come, praise God, to this church to give my life to Jesus oh, that night. I didn't need it. Away my sins, yeah, come on. But the blood of Jesus. Come on, this morning. God can make me whole again. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Come on. All these youngers is a praying, amen. Praise God, would you be somebody else? The last call is coming. No other found I know. Somebody still ain't satisfied. Would you come? Would you come? For my pardon, this I all these young men are praying. Would you come? The blood of Jesus. Would you come? You're one prayer away from having victory this morning. I'm talking about a God that can forgive and one that can put things back together. But the hey! Blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that Wide as snow, no other fount I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Ooh, can't you feel it? Nothing can for sin atone. Come on. Nothing but Why are you waiting on? You know, praise God, you're tired of it. Praise God, come on! Not Praise God! I have done Lord have mercy, come on. But the blood of Jesus. Do you want to pray? Come on! Come on! Is the flow that come on. makes me why? He said, I have sheep that's not among this fold. He said, I must break thee. I thank God the good shepherd's still searching. Amen. And he's still touching hearts. Huh? You don't have to suffer anymore. Say, preacher, what about if I get sick? Amen. Praise God. What if I get saved? Amen. And I hear all these people talking about their trouble. So what? What's trouble? The Bible said he said, I'll give you tribute salvation with tribulation. The Bible said they that live holy shall suffer persecutions. Amen. Amen. 
But the Bible said that the sufferings of this life is not to even be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. Amen. Hey, come on. Praise God, before when troubles come, I was all by myself. Now when troubles come, I've got somebody, amen, to go with me. Amen all the way. Hey, come on. Praise God. I know the deliverer. I know the one that knows how to win the battle. Amen. Matter of fact, it's never been won. Amen. 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 Get you another song, brother, while these young ones are part. Amen. Five fifty-two. Five fifty-two. I think that's what I heard. Listen to me this morning. I don't play games. Never have. How about it this morning? Is your life a mess? I've been there. Is your home turmoil? When you go home from work, do you dread going home, praise God, because of the turmoil in your home? I used to be there. But you know now, I can't hardly wait to go home with you. Amen. Sometimes I get so homesick, praise God, if my wife would be at home, I, would, I don't know if I'd ever make it to work or not. I miss her so bad. Amen. Amen. And you know the sad part about it is, Jeff, sometimes I don't act like it. Sometimes I don't treat her like it. Amen. Amen. I'm telling the truth. Amen. But I love her. Amen. This morning, praise God, I wouldn't leave this church in need. I never felt nothing like this, brother. Amen. Are you the blood of the Lamb? My God, can't you feel? Are you fully trusting in His grace? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood? Thank God I am. In the soul cleansing blood. Thank God I'm anchored, amen. Hey! Are you known as spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood? in the blood of the Lamb. I thank God that that settled peace. But I can say, amen, that I'm settled, amen. Hey, praise God that my sins are under the blood. I'm settled, amen. Hey, glory to God. My record's clean this morning. When the Lord comes, will you be what? Be white, pure and white in the blood of the Lamb. Yeah. Will your soul be ready for the mansion's bride and be washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed? Listen to that. Listen to that spirit this morning. Amen. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Lay aside the garment. Listen, they're singing about repentance. Just lay it down. Amen. Hold that word. Oh, be one. 